come to this channel again today we will see object based image classification with machine learning algorithm in ArcGIS in this exercise we will pass through four steps the first step is image segmentation the second step is creating training data for object based image classification then the third step is creating signature using train support vector machine classifier then finally will classify an image image classification using the source image segmented image and uh, the signature that's created using train support vector machine classifier okay let's start with first step image segmentation for this exercise i download you a bit i will put the link where i download the data and uh, you will also use that uh, link to download the data for size so as usual let's import the data clicking here so this one is the data tutorial this one is a uav image this image is uav image actually it is covered smaller and the for size could be uh, enough but for practical activity it is obvious to uh, use a large image in that case let's continue click here on window then image analysis then when you click on image analysis this window is pop up then click here so active the image that you are going to use and uh, here click on add function and when you click on add function function templates editor window is pop up and click here and right click and uh, then insert function Find for uh, segment mean shift function and click on segment mean function. And here uh, we do have different parameters that will change. So here input raster is the raster that we are going to use for segmentation for the image that we are going to segment. Spectral detail, spatial detail, mean uh, segment uh, size in pixel and uh, segments boundary only are the parameter that we adjust while image segmentation for detailed description of those things click here on about the segments mean shift function and uh, segments mean function help window can be open and you can see the overview of uh, segment mean function you can see also the detail what is spectral detail and uh, what is the minimum stay minimum and uh, maximum value that we can uh, use uh, spatial detail is also here minimum segment uh, size in pixel as well as also segment boundary uh, we do have two options zero and one option one is for uh, the segment boundary are displayed with a black uh, control line and uh, zero uh, is where we used to have segment boundary are not uh, displayed and uh, this zero is the default one and it is also recommended to use uh, that one for this one let's use the default one and uh, see what the segmented image look like okay then okay then you can close this one and this one is the segmented uh, image so you have to see whether our segmentation is accurate for example uh, we have to see whether the segmented image is um, covering the exact object that we need and to see that let's click here on the function area which is segmented image and right click and zoom to the raster resolution and uh, let us look at the segmented image here when you can look at the original image this uh, section is three and this section is grasslands but when we see the segmented image both uh, area are covered with a single uh, object which is not uh, correct you have to see also another area for example, well, let us look at this area. Let this deactivate the segmented image. And this one is the grassland area. This one is the grassland area. And this one is the forest area. And uh, let's open the function tutorial, which is segmented. Look at this one, this one, and it is having the same symbol, but it is not this and uh, this area having the same symbol, which is now correct because this area having the grasslands, but this one is forest. So we have to change some parameters. Look at this one. This one is forest area. This one is the grassland area. So we have to play with the parameter. So to do that, right click here and the property, then function, right click on segments mean shift, then property. So we have to play with the spectral detail, spatial detail, as well as also minimum segment size in the pixel. Let's make 
this one five and uh, this one also five you have to adjust these uh, parameters uh, just to get the optimum values which is a good or the optimum value that represents an object in the image so I click ok then ok now let us uh, look at the object and also the segment for example when we look at this area this area is grassland this one is also another object and the objects which clearly uh, seems the same are currently specified by different objects and uh, that is good and let's uh, look at another object here earlier this object and this object was considered as one object let us look at the segmented image after using different parameters from the earlier yeah you can look at it this one is a grassland this one is the forest area these objects and these objects are identified and that is uh, good and uh, we can play with the parameter to get good segmentations and it may take the times but it is a need to uh, play with the parameter to get the good segment image segmentations okay we can change this name to segmentation uh, the second stage is uh, creating the training data for uh, object-based uh, image uh, classification so click here on customize then toolbar and click here image classification okay. uh, here uh, you have to specify as a segment then click here and select segments it is required to zoom to the raster resolution while creating the training data so double click on uh, an object once you double click on object click here on on training sample manager so let give a name watch and uh, change this color to this yeah and then let's find another object double click here and also let's find another object which having the same property object which is road here uh, I select for please uh, try to select many objects as much as possible not uh, less than uh, 20 because it increase the accuracy of, uh, of uh, image uh, classifications and uh, it merge all those uh, features merge the features you have to select all then click here on merge training sample and we have to do the same for other uh, object also here in this uh, study area we do have roof tree road slab and uh, bird uh, soil so we have to we have to create uh, training data for the object based uh, image classification let me show you one more uh, class so if you look at this one this one is a grass area so activate this one and I click here double click and uh, give the name grass then activate again so you can see the grass area this area is also grass okay here I select about uh, 21 uh, object for uh, grass so let me Merge them. Merge the training sample. So here we have uh, two training sample, rod and uh, grass. We have to use the same method for other object as well. Okay, good. I try to select or create the training data for specific objects for rod, for grass, for building, forest, bare soil, and uh, slab, which is pavements and uh, we can also change this one to five this one to six so we we'll have six uh, class we can also change the color it makes bare soil and give this color and uh, slab or pavements let make it white color so we have six class 
and uh, don't forget to save a training sample so we'll use it here for uh, next uh, step okay the second stage is creating signature using support vector machine classifier so let import training data and uh, we look at the training data right click and uh, open it with table so here you have six class the first class is roach second class is grass then we have building forest bare soil and uh, slab which is pavements and you can also look at the number of cell that could in each uh, class okay they continue its signature using support vector fashion here you have to click on arc toolbox then you have to follow the path which is special analyze tool then the special analyze tool segmentation and classification and segmentation and classification click here on 10 support vector machine class work and uh, then this window will pop up input raster in this case is segmented image so click here segmented image input training sample is a training data that we create so click here training data additional input raster is also located which is the original image that downloaded here output classifier definition file should be specified by the place we will segmentation support vector motion okay. maximum number of uh, sample per class is optional you can change this value and the segmented fields let's select all to look at what are uh, those segments that fields please refer to segmented fields here color mean thermal divisions counts all are uh, described here then click ok it may take time based on the real coverage of an image as well as also the capacity of the machines. And support to vector machine classifier. So the signature is already created. Let me close this one. Okay, the last stage is classifying an image using signatures, segmented image, and uh, original image, which is uh, downloaded to AV image. So for this analysis, I click here on the window and image analysis. And click here on segmented image then click here on add function and i click on identify function insert function so we use classify function and here inputs raster is segmented image inputs definition file is signature that we created using support vector machine classifier so let's navigate to a place where signature is saved so under here yes and open and input raster is this one to see about image classification you can click here on about classification function so you can get the detailed information okay and okay we get an interesting classified image That's it. if you are interested with this video please don't forget to give a thumb comments share with your friend as well as also subscribe thank you